Hey guys, so I want to share something with you guys this morning. I was reading about Saul, King Saul, um, just before he was anointed to be king. And the Bible said that, and I never took notice before now, it's like so crazy. The Bible said that when Samuel anointed him, he said to him, you shall receive, you, you will be turned into another man. I believe that's the way it said it and all the time we thinking about Saul how he pursued David and so forth not realizing that God already knew that Saul had a weakness Saul had a, a problem with his heart he had a problem with his character but in in the time of using him God gave him a new heart but that heart was turned back when he sinned against God when he disobeyed God so I was saying that Saul already had some kind of issue, all right? Now, he met with the prophet Samuel and God chose him to be king. The people was asking for a king. God said, okay, you're asking for a king. I'm going to give you guys a king. So he chose Saul. Remember, the Bible says that Saul was taller than everyone else when he, when he stood um, amongst them. He was taller from the shoulder up. So God chose him, but God knew his, his heart. God knew. All right. Now, when Saul, um, did not do as God commanded him to do, and he was, t um, God changed his mind. No. So what I come on to say is that God is saying that he is going to give you or someone a change of heart. It could be you, okay? Maybe you need a change of heart. Maybe you have been feeling a, a type of way about someone. Or maybe you need a different type of attitude and character or, be or heart posture for where God is about to take you. And God is about to give you a new heart, all right? You're going to be turned into a, a new person. You are going to be known as um, someone totally different to who you who you are taught to be known as now <laughs> sorry about that so um i don't know who it's for but just receive it guys about to give you a new heart and something new is coming about for you all right